honestly, it's not as a big of a deal as you think it is. Hey guys, it's Lisette here. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't been on YouTube talking to you guys in literally the longest time. I don't know, this year for me has just been really crazy and just mentally I just felt like I was getting really, really drained just by the same monotonous routine of just not really going out and not really doing things and it just mentally for me was like driving me insane and i don't know i just kind of got into a funk and it sucks like i hate being like that i hate getting like that i hate when i'm like that and so sometimes for me i just feel like little breaks are just really good because it just helps you kind of reset you guys have been requesting more girl talks and so in today's video which was actually requested by one of you guys is advice to my younger self and i love this idea and i'm super excited but before we get started make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up just to let me know if you like the girl talks and with all that being said let's get started First things first, you gotta stop entertaining guys and fake friends just because you're bored or because you're lonely. Like, it's not worth it, trust me. At a certain point, you just get tired of like the games. You get tired of the games, you get tired of the drama, you get tired of the fake people and you start really looking within like, okay, why am I allowing people like this in my life? Why am I attracting these people? I was so afraid of losing people that I would entertain fake people because I felt like that was something that I had to do to be able to keep people in my life. And in regards to guys, I've had quite a few, quite a few, very crazy people in my life that, you know, you entertain and it's just not worth it. It's just not. This is how you look. This is you and you're beautiful. You may not have everything figured out. You may not have all the tips and tricks on what to do with your hair, how to you know, take care of your skin, how to just take care of yourself in general, but it's all things that can be learned and you know, don't beat yourself up about it. We all go through like a crazy awkward stage where we just don't really know like how to look the best and then once the glow up comes, it's game over. But seriously, you're unique, you're an individual and you are, you. Nobody can replace you and so you might as well just embrace that and be the best you that you can possibly be. Don't dim your light. Don't dim your passions. Don't dim your accomplishments. Don't dim who you are. Don't dim yourself to make other people feel comfortable. It's very rare that you find people that are genuinely, genuinely to their core happy for your success. People want to be successful too and you can't fault them for being envious or being jealous because it's kind of just like human nature, you know? I had friends and family that I felt like I was always trying to dim myself down or if I was around somebody and they wouldn't really understand me, I would try to like change how I speak and maybe like speak a little bit less proper and not use like certain words because they wouldn't be able to understand certain words and they would think I'm too smart. And it's like, don't dim yourself down. Just be who you are. And if somebody doesn't like that, then they can go, <laughs> it's that simple. Girl, stop thinking that it's so important to get a guy's attention. It's not. Guys do not rule the world. Like I literally thought that back in school, I was like so obsessed with like certain boys that it would be like the only thing I would fixate on and I would wonder like, why aren't they giving me attention? Why this, why that? It's not that serious. It used to be so detrimental. Like, oh my gosh, I need to have a first kiss. I need to have a boyfriend. I need to have this, I need to have that. But at the end of the day, if it's not meant to be, it's not gonna happen. Just let things flow and whenever it's the right time, you'll know it's the right time. This is a hard one that I'm still trying to accept and learn and figure out, but it's something that I feel like you should know. And not everybody's gonna like you. You can feel like you're doing everything right. You can feel like you're being super nice and you have everything just right, but there's still gonna be somebody that just doesn't like you. It doesn't even matter. It could be the way you look. It could be the way you speak. It could be your hair. It could be just your personality. Like some people are just not gonna like you. 
and that's okay. You're not for everybody. You can't please everybody and that's not your job to please everybody. And just because someone doesn't like you doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong or you need to improve on something to make yourself better. If somebody doesn't like you, that's their personal choice and they have that right. No is a full sentence. And don't be afraid to actually say no and mean it. Don't be afraid to say no and speak up and defend something that you believe in or something that you don't wanna do or something that you don't feel comfortable with or something that you just aren't in the mood for. Don't be afraid to say no and speak up. I felt like I was like hurting people's feelings sometimes and I would be like so afraid to upset people and I wanted to like make sure that they were good but at the same time that's taking away from you. And this applies to like real life situations that I'm dealing with now. I'm still learning how to speak up and say no. It's like you get your hair done at the hair salon, they F up your hair, and then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, it looks great. And then you go home and you cry. That used to be me, yeah. I'm paying for a service. I'm paying you to do my hair. And I'm leaving here pretending that I'm happy and then literally going in my car and crying. Like that's just so stupid. So don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to speak up. If something bothers you or you are not okay with something, especially if you're putting money towards a service, speak up and don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to try new things and be spontaneous. Surprises are not for me unless they're like pulled off really, really well. Be more open to try things, whether that's new foods, whether that's going to a new place or just having new experiences, be more open. Once I turned 18, I feel like I kind of started to realize that I felt like I wasn't really being spontaneous and that was something that I really regretted because I wanted to just have more fun and do more fun things. I mean, of course you wanna be safe and you don't want it to be like something crazy, but like you do wanna have fun in your life and being more open to try new things is definitely a way to do that. Hiding how you really feel deep down is only gonna complicate things and make things worse. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with people around you. Honesty is honestly the best policy. Sometimes I feel like you can actually protect a person. I mean, if it's something really serious, I don't think that you should be withholding information, but I feel like sometimes you can actually protect a person by not telling them every little like detail about everything all the time. And so just keep that in mind. Unfortunately, your friends will come and go. And you know, it's something that you just gotta accept. Sometimes people are seasonal and they're not meant to be there for the whole year, but they're meant to be there for just a season. And once you realize that, you can actually take things from each person and actually learn from each relationship and see that, you know, where things went wrong and just kind of learn from it. You have to know when it's time to let people go and realize that it's time to let people go so that you can grow as a person too. You can't let people, friendships, relationships, anybody hold you back from your own personal self growth. You can't keep worrying about what people think all the time. Like it's so draining and like, they don't care about you. Like people don't care like that. You can't be so worried and so concerned about what these people are thinking about you when at the end of the day, they don't even really matter. Focus on yourself and who cares what people think? Who cares what they think? And that's really, really hard and you'll probably continue to struggle with that. Don't be so concerned about another person that you're actually gonna let that person affect your life and affect your decisions because this is your life and your decisions, not theirs. Nothing in life is too good for you. Like you need to stop thinking that you can't achieve something or you can't do something because it's just not meant to be. Nothing is too good for you to achieve. Own yourself. This is you, like you need to actually realize that your energy and your presence and who you are, it's a privilege to get to know you. So no, it's not unattainable, it's not too good, it's not something that's impossible because you believe in yourself and you know that you can achieve things if you set your mind to it. Be consistent and stay consistent. Even though you feel like things may not be turning out the way that you want them to, trust me, consistency is always key. Don't get discouraged, don't give up. Literally, just continue what you're doing and eventually things will be seen that need to be seen. Honestly, it's not as a big of a deal as you think it is. And this applies to like so many different things, to overthinking, to stressing out about little, little problems. Like if something is not directly affecting you right this second and isn't like detrimental to you making a decision about something, like it's not that serious. 
take some time, think about it, and don't stress about the little things. <laughs> this one, I'm laughing, but it's kind of sad, but it's kind of funny, but you're never gonna have things figured out. You think that when you're an adult and you got your own place and you got all this stuff, like just, you know, taken care of, that you're gonna have everything figured out, but I'm sorry, you never do. You'll never have everything just figured out because life is just so unpredictable you never really know. Something comes your way and it's like blocking your path. It's like a hurdle. And it's like, you could either let this affect you and be like, okay, well, this is in front of me. This is a wall here. I can't get over it. And so this is it and I give up. Or you could actually fight through, jump over that hurdle and move past it and learn from it. And that's what makes you stronger. And so that's pretty much the advice that I would give to my younger self. Lisette, I feel like you pretty much got a pretty good head on your shoulders. Just kind of continue with the path that you're going. And I feel like everything kind of works itself out the way that it needs to be. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys could actually take some advice from this too. I mean, I'm still like applying this advice to my life currently. I feel like my next girl talk, I'm gonna do one where I ask you guys questions on my Instagram. So make sure that you're following me at Lisette. And again, if you like this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!